you made a point sir that you know coalition governments because by the very nature are unstable and uh, therefore governance is something that comes secondary and their political survival is uh, primary we have seen for the last 20 years that we have 23 24 coalitions at a uh, party coalition at the center which are often opportunist often precarious and inherently unstable now in such situations it's logical to expect more of the government's energy is going towards pol survival and political management right. than to governance right. Right. also such situations provide a temptation to pursue short term populist measures rather than pursuing long term foundational solutions to entrenched problems what can the case study of bihar show to the rest of india as a model of growth and turn around two things i say this because that in my view is what nitish kumar the chief minister stands for clean politics good governance right. to build from there i think it gives the one lesson that even in the most adverse circumstances a good leader focused on good governance can deliver results so do you think a generational shift in politics makes a difference or can the old generation really have new perspectives and new thoughts coming to play no i will put it to you like this ultimately you need a leader with vision long entrenched social habits and hierarchies don't disappear overnight even in bihar i would be dishonest if i said to you that caste calculations have ceased to matter but at least the people have a vision can see have a glimpse of an alternative secular model of development which transcending caste divisions is valuable to a voter right that is the beginning of the process of change if that alternative is not viable people will continue to go back to the narrow burrows of old loyalties as far as india is concerned india is a diverse country multi religious multi ethnic layered and segmented with the very rich and far more in number the very poor there is only one model that can work in india and that is the model of inclusive growth where your vision has both the compulsion and the compassion to include all segments of the people the poor the dalits the extremely backward the minorities the mainstream the majority and also naturally the affluent we need a composite vision thank you mr verma as always an honor and a pleasure speaking to you sir